this isn't how I would have thought I would have started a YouTube channel, but here we are, and I wrote a little essay, it's called This Is America, ba titled based off of the Childish Gambino song, and I thought it was fitting to make a video reading this essay. And throughout it, I'm probably going to make like little side points. I'm going to point up to here, even though I'm not going to edit anything over here. This is America. We're told from a young age that we live in the best country on earth, while many atrocious atrocities happen from day to day. We were taught this country does have its bad moments, and we should learn from them. Then again, most of the problems of the past aren't taught to us. Black people by themselves in this country face many hardships every day created by this country since the beginning of its creation to today. Latinx people have racism done against them without being taught about them. Asians have racism that's been observed just during this pandemic. When this country originally was created, we started our abuse of other races off the bat with the natives. An entire religion and the region it is most popular in has problems with being accepted, but this is America, a land built off of racism and protest. We have always had problems and still, to, and still do to this day, but, but we have also always fought for our rights. We have been taught about the segregation, slavery, and KKK. These aren't the only important atrocities that should be taught to the school children. There's also other civil rights movements we don't learn about. While we were taught about the hardships on black people before the 60s, we only really learned about those problems and the problems Native Americans faced while we were stealing their land. There was never a lesson on all the things Asians, Latinx, and Middle Easterns, or LGBT people faced. Nothing about the civil rights movement led by Cesar Chavez or the Stonewall riots started by Marsha P. Johnson. There are all these important lessons that were never taught. We were taught to be proud of this country we had the chance of being born in. Black people in this country are in danger. For starters, when the police system was started, it was created, yes, to fight crime, but also to find escaped slaves, and cops haven't learned to stop hunting black people. Side note, um, the original badge that police officers wore where we get the whole like six pointed star um i can never remember the correct the exact phrasing but it says something along the lines of slavery um slave recovery people or something something along the lines of that but i know the third the second word was slaves and it was they were made just to return, find and return escaped slaves to their owners. We have a 12 year old kid getting shot by cops for playing with friends in a toy gun. We have people trying to exercise, going on a run just, just for a cop to find it suspicious, suspicious and murder him. There's a medical worker relaxing at home when a drug raid barges into the wrong house unannounced only to shoot her 22 times. Side note on that, they arrested the person they were looking for earlier that day so they didn't have a reason to barge into her house since they already knew where the person they were looking for was. It was in their custody. We have the most recent reported on of of a black man getting falsely accused of using a counterfeit $20 bill only for his throat to be crushed by the knee of a cop until he died of suffocation after pleading that he can't breathe and not having this cop's knees taken off him for 8 minutes and 46 seconds. Just eating Skittles got one person killed because the cop thought it was a weapon. While another got killed for holding a simple brush, but then again, this is America. These are only a few of the countless of black people wrongfully murdered by cops. Black kids are taught from a young age to keep your hands visible for a cop when you get pulled over. Speak in a calm manner. Don't make any sudden movements. Always say what you're doing. And most importantly, don't give them a reason to interact with you. 
this is told to young kids just to try and keep them from being murdered since they know the cop won't get prosecuted, but this is America. While black people out here having to fear getting killed by the ones meant to protect, they also have a statistically higher chance to be turned down for a job just for having a black sounding name on the application, having a higher chance to be arrested for the same crime as a white person, getting, a follow, getting followed around to make sure they don't steal. The people in this country that have the highest chance of being killed are black trans women. This is America. Black people have always had to survive this country and the system that oppresses them. Hispanics have untold problematic times back in the age during World War II and uh, in between World War II and World War... No. Back in the age of World War I and in between World War I and World War II and during World War II, um, the U.S. was low on workers since a lot of the men had to go over the seas. So they decided to have Mexicans come up and work. These having people come from Mexico crossing the border to work and then just go back home gave a lot of opportunities for human rights to be infringed on. There was a fear that was directed at Me Mexicans for some reason that they had a certain type of lice. So every seven days, people would get their entire body shaved and had to go through chemical showers. These same chemical showers using the same chemicals can later be seen in the Holocaust. But this is America. The border workers would take women to get private searches where they would be raped and photographed, then posted in local bars. After all, this is America. Side note, side note on that. Did you know in 35 states, uh, it is legal for a cop to say you gave consent while they're while you're in their custody so it is illegal for a cop to rape you just because uh, you're in their custody and they can say that you gave consent there was also Mexicans that would stay and work that would stay and work a farm until they needed to move to the next farm and these workers got paid very little if at all they had bad workplace safety. One popular event would be when they got sprayed with harmful pesticides while working. Side note, the reason I'm specifying that they were harmful is because this is back in the day when the FDA didn't have more uh, legislation on what pesticides could be used. So these pesticides were harmful, or harmful for the people that was eating the food they were being sprayed on, but also harmful for the people they were being sprayed onto. Um, these, these events led to a march led by Senor Chavez with the chant of Si Se Puede, I didn't say that right, Si Se Puede, up to the capital of California, and this and other protests was the civil rights movement for Mexicans in America. Nowadays, we have Hispanic people trying to immigrate, being put in concentration camps, but this is a surprising since this is America. Side note, a lot of, a lot of the people coming up uh, to try and immigrate into America, the reason they're immigrating grading here is because America did some meddling in their countries and they kind of made it dangerous for people to live there. So like, yeah, they had the, they had to move somewhere safer and then we got, and then they got put in our concentration camps. A Asian people have suffered from being in America. Just from the pandemic happening, people of all Asian descents have been suffering from people assuming just because they are Asian means they have the COVID-19 virus. Asian restaurants have had problems staying in business because people would not go there thinking they'll somehow catch the virus. But this is America. These are just recent problems. There was a large period of time where there was a ban on Chinese immigrants and Chinese people had to deal with that. Japanese people had to go in, into concentration camps since this is America. And the government was worried immigrants would give info to Japan and help them fight America during World War One, not World War One, during World War Two. Side note, a lot of people don't know about this, but there is also 
not also. A lot of people don't know about this, but there was a group of white people in California that set up a Nazi base, um, and they were trying to communicate with Germany to be like, hey, come take us. Um, so that isn't taught to people, but if there was a chance of us getting attacked by, um, by Japan and Germany and Nazi Germany during World War Two, it would probably be from those white people creating a Nazi camp in California. So, yeah, the place is abandoned now, so you can go search it. These are just large racist things that happen, and there are probably more I haven't learned about. All of these races that I'm talking about and all of these atrocities that I'm talking about, there are probably more that I just haven't learned about yet. When we moved to North America, we started our conquer of natives. We still to this day celebrate a mass murderer named Christopher Columbus, who showed up and killed natives and any he didn't kill got diseases, for this is America. When we started to actually settle, we immediately steal land from natives and kill them. As we moved west, the Native Americans had to move west too. Since since we're taking your land. These Americans have to go on death marches, just like in the Holocaust, as this is America. And the government was worried. I just skipped back. These Americans, these Americans had to go to, go on death marches, just like in the Holocaust, as this is America, and we inspire. The most famous one of all is called the Trail, the Trail of Tears, these Native Americans are still treated poorly, but gladly they're not kicked off their land anymore. And also gladly, little side note, also gladly we have systems that say like, Hey, you're Native American. Sorry for all the trouble you go with living in this country. Here's some money and you're, you have a higher chance of getting into colleges. It's like, yay. Even though we have the First Amendment of freedom of religion, if you're not Christian, expect discrimination. People of the Muslim religion face backlash since they're not Christian. From people getting told to take off their hijab to getting yelled at to go back to the Middle East, even if they're from here. We have, we have had travel ban preventing people from visiting the country if you're from any Muslim dominant country. These people have been terrorized by people claiming that all Muslims are terrorists, but this is America, where we have freedom of religion, where we have freedom of religion as long as it's one we agree with. Little side note: the hijabs that people wear. If you look at other religions, you will see something similar to that. Just like nuns in the Catholic religion, where they lit, wear the black robes and the a white piece of fabric that covers all of their face. Well, not all of their face, that covers everything but their face, just like a hijab does. So, there's that. This land was built off of oppression, from having slaves to harming natives, but we also built off of fighting. We left our homeland to have more freedom and rights. We fought a revolutionary war to be free from Britain. We fought to win slavery with the Civil War. We had the protests and fights for women's right to vote. We had protests and riots for civil, black civil rights. The protests for Hispanic rights. The first pride was five days long riots after a brick was thrown fighting for LGBT rights. We have built this country off of oppression, but this is America. So we fight for the rights we don't have and we will continue to fight until we give what we want first off equality because all lives don't matter until black lives matter and all cops are bastards. Little side note of the ACAB thing, um, the reason we say all cops are bastards is because we're using the word bastardize so the system uh, bastardizes cops and it makes it where they where they're bastards. So yeah. That's a little explanation for people that don't, that haven't understood the all cops are bastards thing. Thank you for uh, listening to my little essay. I'm sorry about the quality of this video. I'm having to use a
Chromebook <laughs> since my phone for some reason filled up with memory. I don't know if I'm using the cloud right on that. I don't think I am. Um, let's hope this is easy for me to edit since this is going to be my first video. Also, I will leave the link to that one like note card that has all the links to places you can donate, places you, uh, places that are protesting, s petitions to sign, and that entire thing. Also, if you want to stick around, I will eventually be doing like a formal introduction to this channel. So like, yeah. Bye.